Welcome to a new era of artificial intelligence, where innovation knows no bounds, and the future is being written today. I'm Manuin, and in this video, we're diving into some of the most groundbreaking AI projects that are shaping our world. From enhancing the reliability of information to redefining user interface design, these projects represent the pinnacle of AI advancement. We're not just talking about theoretical concepts. These are real, tangible innovations that are pushing the boundaries of what AI can achieve. Join me as we explore projects like WikiChat, which is revolutionizing the factuality of language models, Preempt, which is transforming how we interact with technology, and many more. Each of these projects not only showcases the versatility of AI, but also its potential to positively impact various aspects of our lives. Whether you're an AI enthusiast, a developer, or simply curious about the future of technology, this journey will offer insights, surprises, and a glimpse into a future where AI is a fundamental part of our daily lives. So, let's get started and uncover the wonders of AI innovations. Project number one, WikiChat. Let's begin with WikiChat, an exceptional project developed by Stanford's online visual analytics lab. This project is not just an AI tool, it's a solution to one of the most persistent challenges in AI communication, factuality. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, is now at the heart of language models, thanks to WikiChat. But why is this important? Large language models, like GPT-3, have a tendency to hallucinate, producing responses that can be creative, but sometimes factually incorrect or misleading. Imagine asking an AI about the tallest mountain in the world. Without a factual check, you might get an imaginative but incorrect answer. WikiChat changes this. It processes your question, retrieves relevant Wikipedia articles, and uses this information to guide the AI's response. Here's how it works. First, data retrieval. When you input a prompt or ask a question, WikiChat identifies keywords and fetches related Wikipedia articles. But it's not just about keywords. It considers the context and semantic similarity for accurate information retrieval. Next, information fusion. The retrieved data is summarized and integrated with the AI's existing knowledge. This fusion ensures that the AI's response is not only engaging, but also anchored in factual accuracy. Finally, the AI uses this rich, fact-based foundation to generate its response. The result? Conversations that are more reliable, informed, and trustworthy. With WikiChat, users get improved factuality, enhanced context awareness, and support for open-ended, informative conversations. It's a game changer, ensuring that our interactions with AI are not just fascinating, but also factually sound. While still under development, WikiChat continues to evolve. The team is fine-tuning its algorithms, tackling challenges like ambiguity and in information, and conducting user studies to measure its impact on conversation quality. WikiChat stands as a beacon of progress, bridging the gap between the vast knowledge repository of Wikipedia and the conversational prowess of AI. It's not just an advancement, it's a step towards more reliable and informative AI interactions. Okay, let's move to our next project. Project number two, Priompt. Our next innovation is Priompt, a pioneering project by AnySphere. It revolutionizes the way we design interactive prompts, introducing a groundbreaking concept, prioritization in prompt design. Priompt is not just a tool, it's a new philosophy in user interface design. Built on JSX, it cleverly uses the concept of priority to decide what information users see first and what follows. In Priompt's world, each element in a prompt is assigned a priority. Higher priorities are for critical elements necessary for immediate comprehension, while lower priorities add depth and context as space permits. This priority-based rendering changes the game in prompt design. Imagine a prompt with multiple elements, instructions, warnings, tips. With traditional designs, all these compete for attention. Priompt elegantly organizes these based on priority, ensuring that users first see what's most important, reducing clutter and cognitive load. Under the hood, Preempt is a marvel. It uses a single render cycle for performance and consistency, and its implicit dependencies ensure that high-priority elements bring along necessary context. The P and Prel attributes give you granular control over this prioritization. Unlike traditional prompt designs that rely on visual cues like size or color, Priompt takes an explicitly structured approach. This method offers greater precision and adaptability, 
especially in complex prompts where relationships between elements are intricate. Priompt is evolving. The team behind it is looking into integrating with existing design tools, developing algorithms for automatic priority setting, and ensuring accessibility for all users. In summary, Priompt redefines our interaction with technology, making prompts more intuitive, informative, and user-friendly. It's a testament to how thoughtful design can transform user experience in the digital age. Okay, let's move to our next project. Project number three, Next Chat. Now, let's turn our attention to ChatGPT Next Web, a visionary project by ChatGPT Next Web. It's a leap forward in bringing the power of large language models, like ChatGPT and Gemini, directly into your hands, across multiple platforms. Imagine having a personal AI assistant that works seamlessly on your web browser, desktop, or mobile device. That's what ChatGPT Next Web offers. It breaks down barriers, allowing for cross-platform access to advanced AI language models. With ChatGPT Next Web, you have the choice between the highly capable ChatGPT and the efficient Gemini models. It's about flexibility and meeting your specific needs, whether it's for detailed responses or resource light operations. Customization is at the core of ChatGPT Next Web. You can tailor the application's appearance, add functionalities, or even integrate it with other services. It's not just an AI tool, it's your AI tool, personalized to your preferences. Setting up is straightforward. Clone the repository, configure your API key, and you're ready to interact with the LLM of your choice. The response you get is the product of powerful AI processing, presented in a user-friendly format. ChatGPT Next Web offers several advantages. Enhanced privacy, as you're hosting your own application, incredible customization, and optional offline access, depending on your setup. It puts you in control of your AI experience. The team behind ChatGPT Next Web is actively enhancing its features. Expect a more intuitive user interface, better performance optimization, and new functionalities like voice control and collaborative editing. In summary, ChatGPT Next Web is a game changer. It democratizes access to advanced AI, allowing you to have personalized platform independent interactions with large language models. It's a glimpse into a future where AI is an integral part of our digital ecosystem. Okay, let's move to our next project. Project number four, ESPNet. Next in our AI journey is ESPNet, an end-to-end -end speech processing toolkit developed by the Electronic Speech Processing Network. This toolkit is redefining the landscape of speech technology with its versatility and comprehensive features. ESPNet is a one-stop solution for a wide range of speech processing tasks. Whether it's converting speech to text, synthesizing text into speech, or even translating spoken languages, ESPNet does it all with impressive efficiency. ESPNet's strength lies in its flexibility. With support for multiple deep learning frameworks, modular architecture, and a rich collection of pre-trained models, it's tailor-made for both beginners and experts in speech processing. At its core, ESPNet uses PyTorch and Chaldee-inspired data processing. This combination not only ensures performance, but also compatibility with existing data and tools in the speech processing domain. From automatic transcription services to developing voice assistants, ESPNet's applications are vast. Its user-friendly nature and pre-built components make it a go-to resource for quick and efficient speech technology development. ESPNet is constantly evolving. The team is working on expanding its task range, enhancing performance, and improving user experience, keeping it at the forefront of speech technology innovation. In conclusion, ESPNet is a powerful toolkit for anyone looking to delve into the world of speech processing. Its comprehensive features, flexibility, and active community make it an invaluable asset in the realm of AI-driven speech technology. Okay, let's move to our next project. Project number five. Common Genival. Moving on, let's explore Common Genival, an initiative by the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence. It's reshaping how we evaluate the performance of large language models, or LLMs, focusing on tasks that require common ground reasoning. Common Genival is more than a set of benchmarks. It's a suite of natural language tasks designed to push LLMs to their limits. These tasks challenge models to engage in activities like joint story continuation and collaborative planning requiring them to reason and communicate effectively. Consider a task where two models collaboratively continue a story. Each contribution must be consistent and logical, demanding a deep understanding of the narrative. Or, in a question-answering task, 
models must combine information from multiple sources to provide accurate answers. Common Gen Eval assesses LLMs with a set of comprehensive metrics. These include coverage, measuring how well the model addresses all aspects of a task, and part of speech accuracy, ensuring grammatical correctness. The overall score is a combination of these metrics, providing a holistic view of LLM performance. This framework's real power lies in its focus on real-world scenarios going beyond traditional language modeling. By evaluating capabilities essential for human-like communication, Common Gen Evil is setting a new standard in LLM development. The team at AI2 is actively working on expanding Common Gen Evil. They're adding more tasks, refining evaluation metrics, and making the framework more accessible. It's a testament to their commitment to advancing the field of AI. In conclusion, Common Geneval is a significant step in evaluating the real-world applicability of LLMs. It challenges models to demonstrate human-like reasoning and communication skills, marking a pivotal moment in the journey towards more capable and human-like AI systems. Okay, let's move to our next project. Project number six, Long LM. Next, let's delve into Long LM, an intriguing project by Datama Lab. This project addresses a significant challenge in large language models, LLMs, extending their capability to handle longer text sequences without additional fine tuning. Long LM is revolutionary. Traditional LLMs like GPT-3 or BERT are trained on fixed length sequences. This training method, while practical, limits their ability to process longer sequences during real world applications. Long LM changes this paradigm. The essence of Long LM lies in its self-extend method. This approach enables LLMs to process text sequences longer than their original training limits by tackling positional out-of-distribution issues. Long LM constructs bi-level attention information, group level and neighbor level, using the original model's self-attention mechanism. This innovative approach effectively extends the context window of the model, allowing it to handle longer sequences more efficiently. Imagine a scenario where a traditional model's context window is just seven tokens. Long LM can extend this significantly, ensuring that the model comprehends and responds to longer inputs with greater accuracy and relevance. Long LM demonstrates a substantial decrease in perplexity for long context windows and outperforms its original versions on various tasks, including question answering and summarization. It's a significant leap forward in making LLMs more versatile and effective. While still a growing project, Long LM shows immense potential. It's paving the way for more robust and capable language models that can handle the complexities and nuances of extended real-world text. To summarize, Long LM is not just an enhancement, it's a breakthrough. By enabling LLMs to process longer text sequences effectively, it opens up new horizons for AI applications in areas requiring extensive contextual understanding. Okay, let's move to our next project. Project number seven, REST GPT. Moving forward, let's explore REST GPT, an innovative project by Yifan Song 793 on GitHub. REST GPT is redefining how large language models, LLMs, interact with real-world applications through RESTful APIs. REST GPT stands out as a trailblazer in integrating LLMs with practical applications. It creates an autonomous agent capable of controlling and interacting with applications like movie databases and music players. The genius of REST GPT lies in its three components, the planner, the API selector, and the executor. The planner breaks down user instructions into manageable tasks. The API selector then maps these tasks to appropriate API calls. For example, if you want to search for a movie, REST GPT's planner formulates this request into specific API calls. The executor then interacts with the movie database and delivers the results back to you. REST GPT is a game changer. It enables LLMs to not just generate text, but actively control and interact with external services. This dynamic, iterative planning and execution framework is a leap towards more robust and versatile AI systems. REST GPT is still evolving, but its potential is immense. It showcases the possibility of LLMs going beyond theoretical applications and being employed in concrete, real-world scenarios. In summary, REST GPT is not just a project. It's a vision of the future where AI is deeply integrated into our daily lives, controlling and enhancing our interaction with technology in unprecedented ways. Okay, let's move to our next project. Project number eight, Atuin. Next, let's dive into Atuin, an innovative project by Atuinch on GitHub. This tool is revolutionizing shell history management, transforming it into an intuitive and powerful feature. 
Atuin is not just about remembering your commands. It's about synchronizing your shell history across multiple machines, encrypting it end-to-end -end for security, and offering advanced search capabilities. With Atuin, you can seamlessly switch between devices without losing track of your command history. Its end-to-end -end encryption ensures that your shell history remains private and secure. Imagine being able to search through years of shell history in seconds. Atuin's robust search functionality makes this possible. Supporting full text and fuzzy search, filtered by various parameters. Tuin is a boon for developers and IT professionals. It simplifies shell history management, enhances productivity, and ensures that important commands are always at your fingertips. Being open source, Atuin invites contributions and modifications. It's compatible with multiple shells like Bash, ZSH, Fish, and New Shell, making it versatile and adaptable. In conclusion, Atuin is redefining shell history management. It's a sophisticated tool that brings efficiency, security, and convenience to command line work, making it an indispensable asset for modern computing environments. Let's move to next. Project number nine, Super Gradients. Let's now turn our attention to Super Gradients, a cutting edge project by Desai AI on GitHub. Super Gradients is redefining the landscape of computer vision tasks with its comprehensive training library for deep learning models. Super Gradients is a one-stop solution for training state-of-the-art computer vision models. Whether you're working on object detection, image classification, or semantic segmentation, this library equips you with the tools for success. What sets Super Gradients apart is its extensive model zoo, featuring pre-trained models like YOLOX and PP YOLOE. These models are optimized for accuracy and ready for deployment in production environments. Flexibility is at the core of Super Gradients. It's compatible with deployment tools like TensorT and OpenVINO, ensuring smooth integration into various production setups. With Super Gradients, you get a library that simplifies the development and training process for computer vision models. It's a boon for developers looking to quickly train or fine-tune models for common vision tasks. Super Gradients is open source and backed by a growing community. Comprehensive documentation and tutorials make it accessible to newcomers and seasoned professionals alike. To sum up, Super Gradients is a powerful and versatile training library that accelerates the development of computer vision applications. It's a testament to the potential of open source collaboration in advancing AI technology. Project number 10, Stanford DSPI. Our next focus is on DSPI, a remarkable project developed by Stanford NLP. DSPI is not just a tool, it's a paradigm shift in programming with foundation models like language models, LMs, and retrieval models, RMs. DSPI introduces a unique approach to interacting with LMs and RMs. It goes beyond simple prompting and allows for more complex and effective programming solutions for a range of AI tasks. At the heart of DSPI is its Pythonic syntax and automated compiler, which optimizes the use of LMs for specific tasks. This enables developers to create more efficient and powerful AI applications. Imagine being able to seamlessly integrate text generation and data retrieval to solve intricate tasks. DSPI makes this possible with its ability to combine LMs and RMs, enhancing their potential and applicability. DSPI's innovative programming model and its ability to abstract LM pipelines as text transformation graphs represent a significant advancement in the AI and NLP fields. This project opens up new horizons for complex AI challenges. DSPI has proven effective in applications like solving math word problems, multi-hop retrieval, and complex question answering. It demonstrates the vast potential of LMs when programmed effectively. In summary, DSPI stands out as a groundbreaking framework for AI and NLP, offering a more systematic and powerful way to work with foundation models. Its minimal labeling requirement and versatility make it a valuable tool for researchers and developers alike. As we wrap up this journey through the realm of AI innovations, it's clear that the future is bright and brimming with possibilities. The future of AI is in our hands, and it's more exciting than ever. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on AI innovations. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.